This is for problem number 28 in the ellipse handout, and um, in this problem we have Mars orbiting the Sun, where the Sun is actually a focus of the elliptical path. The We're going to talk the center of this ellipse is 0, 0. Before we actually draw the diagram of it, which is not going to be to scale, we need to understand something about um, ellipses, and, and that is that if I want to talk about the shortest distance from this focus to somewhere on this ellipse, it's always going to be the distance from the focus to the, the closest major vertex. And if you can imagine that if I were to change the eccentricity of this ellipse, meaning as this, as, as this ellipse would get uh, made more, more and more narrow, this focus would get closer and closer to the ellipse, and so this circle would keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller, always fitting inside of the ellipse. As we move the focus closer and closer and closer to the center of this ellipse, the ellipse will become more and more circular. This circle will increase, but it will never uh, go outside of this ellipse. So because of that, the radius of this circle this inner circle, is always going to be the shortest distance from the focus to the ellipse, this distance from the focus to the major axes, the closest major axes. So, knowing that, I'm going to draw a picture that is absolutely not to scale. And here's my picture, and be, the, one of the reasons I say it's not to scale is because I'm saying this is the focus, and we can see that in my diagram, it looks like the focus would be closest to the ellipse here, but from our previous diagram, it's just because I, I wanted to exaggerate the ellipse so that we could see this orbital pathway, and here's a focus, and we're going to talk about the shortest distance and the longest distance from the sun to the ellipse, and we put in those numbers that we were given. And from this information, we can then add these two numbers together to get the entire distance from one major vertex to the other. And half of their distance would be the distance from the center to one major vertex. So I put that in the, the uh, diagram. And now that I know that the distance from this center to this uh, major vertex is also 141.95 million miles, that I can therefore um, come up with the distance here from the center to the sun. So we um, figure those out and we say, why do I need those numbers? Well, those numbers are because those are the A and the C that are we need for our equation, that the distance from the center to a major vertex is going to be your A, and the distance from the center to the focus, this 12.45, is going to be my C. And then I can use that to find the b that I need for the equation. So I've got my b squared, there's my b. I can then, knowing that we're going to use 0, 0 as the center of the ellipse, we have the equation for the ellipse here. But I've got my, my denominators in squared, so let's multiply them out. And that would be the equation of the ellipse that has the information from this problem about the orbit of Mars and the Sun.